The Netball World Champs are in full swing in Singapore, and for the Silver Ferns, uh, there has been a lot said about the vintage of the team. One of the Evergreens hoping to shine through in this campaign is the mercurial Tamapara George. She's the consummate pocket rocket. Tamapara George considered one of the best mid-quarters world netball seen. George turns 36 later in the year, which means here in Singapore will be her last fling, or Singapore sling, as the case may be. And that adds some real importance to this tournament for her. For me, where I am in my career, but kind of nearing the end of it, it's definitely one of the highlights of my career. And, and just being here is really special. And having these uh, talented players around you, um, that help you look good as well. <laughs> and it makes it easier in the position that you are in as well. So, yeah, very special to be here. What's also special is this New Zealand side, and George has been in her fair share of Ferns teams. The culture within the team is fantastic. Um, you know, you know that it's still competitive because everyone wants to get out and play and wants to start, obviously. But it's um, really good, and I think competition is good within the group um, to a point. Um, everyone gets on really well off the court, um, and the combinations have been really good in gelling. The campaign's helped by the fact in Singapore there's so much support from fans, friends and family. My partner's here, my partner and his cousin are here, um, so I'm just stoked to have them here. Um, it just breaks it up, like you can go and go and see them, whereas in Delhi you're just like in the sanctum where you couldn't actually go outside of the gate, so really nice to, to see them and it breaks the tournament up as well, so you come back to play really fresh. So the Ferns fresh and focused, their eyes on the prize. Our goal is to have back-to-back -back gold medals. Our job's only half done. Uh, we're still, you know, we're on our way to the quarterfinals, obviously, and that's where we want to head, and we want to win, and win really well. She always seems to be smiling, Timapata. Most of the chatter going into the World Champs has been about the big two, New Zealand and Australia. But there's another team that's hoping to fly under the radar and rain on the parade in Singapore. Andrea McVeigh explains. They're the other big gun here. While New Zealand and Australia dominate the talk, England have world supremacy in their sights. Last year in Delhi, England lost to both Australia and New Zealand by just six little goals. This year here in Singapore, they reckon they've bridged the gap. Delhi was an amazing experience for us in terms of we finally thought that we were in this to, to win it and um, we were devastated to lose out to the Kiwis so close and not make the finals. But then in our last game against Jamaica, we really pulled out and beat them more than we've ever done. So that was really pleasing for us and that we've taken that over the last few months to build into this. So we've just been training hard and um, just becoming more of a team and I think that's what it is. Everyone has that belief and when we step on court, it's all 12 of us are on court and so that's been really our main focus over the last few months. Oh, when you watch us play, you just expect some excitement. There's some good youngsters in the squad now, and us oldies are still there um, making the foundation. So it's just an exciting game, and people are out there having fun, and I think it's enjoying that ball again, which is the main thing. And while most would pick England in their top four, number one's very much the aim inside the camp. We're here, world champs, we're going to do the business. We're, we're here to show what England is capable of, and I think come the end of the tournament, you're going to see good things from us. The semi-finals begin on Saturday with the final of the Netball World Champs on Monday. Well, hopefully the Silver Ferns will go all the way and add a World Championship gold medal to the Commonwealth gold they won in Delhi last year.